lecture 38 jacobian part 4 functionally dependency so if suppose we have a function u is equal to f x y and v is a function of x y we have two differential function here we have two independent variable x and y so now if u v are connected by some relation f u v is differentiable then these two functions u and v are functionally dependent if jacobian of uv that is the partial derivative of uv with respect to xy is zero and if these two functions are functionally independent if the jacobian of uv is not equal to zero or we can say the partial derivative of uv with respect to x is not equal to zero so here you have to note that if function are dependent then they can establish a relation between them example if we have a two function u is equal to e raised to power x sine y and v is equal to x plus log sine y then we have to show that u and v are functionally dependent so if you want to check the function are functionally uh, these two functions are dependent or independent so what we do just find the Jacobian of u v with respect to x y that is determined partial derivative of u with respect to x partial derivative of u with respect to y partial derivative of v with respect to x partial derivative of v with respect to y so we take the derivative the partial derivative of u with respect to x we get e raised to power x sin y and with respect to y we get e raised to the power x cos x and similarly for b take the partial derivative with respect to x so we get 1 and the partial derivative of v with respect to y we get the derivative of log sin y we get cos y upon sin y now if we solve that determinant or exponent that determinant so we get e is for x cos y minus e is for x cos y so what we get we get zero so here we notice that the jacobian of uv or we can say tell uv with respect to x y we get zero so we say u and v are functionally dependent means these two function are dependent each other one more example if if we have given three functions u v w then we have to show that u v w are functionally dependent and also we find the relation between them means if these functions are dependent they establish a relation between them so to check the dependency we find the jacobian of u v w that is the partial derivative of u v w with respect to x y z now you have to find the determinant of u v and w so the partial derivative of u with respect to x y z we get 1 2 1 now the partial derivative of v with respect to x y z we get 1 minus 2 and 3 and the partiality of w with respect to x y z so the first we get 2y minus z with respect to y we get 2x plus 4z and with respect to z we get minus x and plus 4y and minus 4z now we simplify the determinant so we apply the operation 
we can apply the operation on C1 column 1 with column 1 minus column 3 and also apply the operation on the second column we get column 2 3 times of column 3 so these make 0 so the determinant will be reduced 0 minus 2 um, and x minus 2 y plus 3 z the second column becomes 0 minus 8 4 x minus 8 y plus 12 z the third one 1 3 minus x 4 y minus 4 z now here as you know these two are 0 so the remaining stop that we get on simplify we get if we take 4 it's common in that equation so we can write minus 4 determinant 2 and sorry we get that determinant minus 2 minus 8 x minus 2 y plus 3 z and here x minus 2 y plus 3 z and here you see this become 2 and these two column are identical so we can say this is 0 by the property of determinant if two columns or rows are identical so we can say the determinant is 0 so we can say the determinant is 0 it means the Jacobian of u v w is 0 means u v w v are functionally dependent means these three functions are dependent so if these are dependent so we can say we can establish a relation so if you see here u is equal to if we add these two functions so we get relation u plus v is equal to 2x plus 4z now if we subtract u minus v so what we get we get 4y minus 2z and if you may want to make a relation so you take u square minus v square so you multiply those functions u plus v into u minus v so we get uh, 2x plus 4z into 4y minus 2z and on simplify you can say if you take 4 as a common that x plus 2z and 2y minus z you just multiply these two so we get 4 2xy z x plus 4y z minus 2z square you see this is what this make w so we get you can say u square minus v square is equal to 4 w so here you see this uh, if these function are dependent then there are relation between them means we can establish a relation between these functions there are a lot of method to establish a relation so in that way there are a lot of way you can make the relation between them you find the value of x y here and put in that and from this you put in that so you have to remember only the thing is that you have to remember u v w if we have a three function and they are dependent then we can establish a relation between them